These dear black hills of stately pine, they speak to me so silently from every rock and stream and tree. I lift my eyes to peaks above and stand in awe at what I see, the while my heart expands in love. These hills of pine are friends of mine. Ann Morris Clark. In 1919, Custer State Park was opened, making it South Dakota's first and largest state park. This land encompasses some of South Dakota's most gorgeous scenery and is home to a large array of activities and wildlife. There are many ways to experience the park's vastness of beauty. Begin your journey on the historic Iron Mountain Road. Since the early 1930s, this stunning road will guide you through the famous Pigtail Bridges, as well as three mountain-carved tunnels where you will get an impressive view of Mount Rushmore. As you continue on Iron Mountain Road, you will soon enter Custer State Park. 71,000 acres of wildlife, trails, lakes, and campgrounds. Within the park, you can take the ever-enjoyable Wildlife Loop Road. On this journey, you will be guided through the pretty Ponderosa Pines and picturesque Prairie Plains. You may even cross paths with a colorful character like the Curious Prairie Dogs or a band of wild and affectionate burrows. One thing you can't miss are the astonishing American Bison. Over 1,300 free-roaming buffalo call this park home. These magnificent creatures can weigh up to 2,000 pounds and can run up to 35 miles per hour, so be sure to take your pictures at a safe distance. As you exit the wildlife loop, your journey isn't finished yet. Visit the stunning Needles Highway. The name emanates from the rugged granite formations that pierce the horizon like a needle. Be sure to check out the unique rock formation, the Needle's Eye. Hold your breath as you squeeze through this tight but accessible tunnel. Even though the luxury of driving offers plenty of scenery and wildlife, you can also step off the main path. Explore the uncrowded natural surroundings by traveling on one of the many picturesque trails. With over 450 miles of trails to choose from, you have the option to engulf yourself in nature by hiking, backpacking, biking, and even horseback riding. You can even touch the skies by climbing the beautiful granite spires. The Black Hills offers climbers of all abilities unique cragging opportunities. Another way to enjoy this serene and untouched country is by visiting the five lakes that the park has to offer. Here you can either swim, scuba dive, windsurf, and boat. You can bring your own boat, or if you don't have one, then you can rent one in the park. Since you're in the park, take advantage of the season that never closes, fishing. Either by lake, river, or stream, you can cast your luck by trying to catch one of the many varieties of fish living in the area. Visit historical areas like the Badger Clark Cabin. Built back in the 1920s, this rustic cabin is open for the public to get an inside view of the life of South Dakota's first poet laureate. Next, you can enjoy the views from the highest peak east of the Rockies at Black Elk Peak. This gorgeous hike will guide you up to over 7,200 feet where you can get a breathtaking view of the Black Hills. As you're visiting the area, don't miss out on experiencing a true West moment by witnessing the park's famous Buffalo Roundup. From a safe distance, you can spectate cowboys and cowgirls round up and drive a herd of over 1,300 buffalo. Be sure to get there early to find your perfect viewing area. As your day comes to an end, you can either pop up your tent, park your RV, or stay in one of the many cabins that the park and campgrounds have to offer. Few truly wild places remain in this country, and Custer State Park is one of them. As you travel the roads of life, take that turn that leads you to the Black Hills, Granite Peaks, and Buffalo, here at Custer State Park.